Hi, my name is Jeff Jacob and I'm the director of the Hardware PLM team in the IP Networks division at Nokia. Today I want to talk to you about our new FP5 silicon. With FP5, we continue to deliver on our trend of continuous innovation with many more firsts. We've looked to focus, integrate, and evolve to continue our leadership in IP routing silicon. At 4.8 tera, 7 nanometers, with 100 gig surdies and an FP5 footprint reduction of roughly 70% compared to FP4, we've densified significantly generation over generation. Still a network processor based architecture with a completely programmable data path. This silicon architecture offers the lowest TCO compared to any other silicon on the market today. Using line rate memories everywhere for tables as well as buffering, it is completely deterministic and does not succumb to the partial buffering performance cliffs that come with many other silicon types. That deterministic performance provides certainty for our customers to know that the performance they see day one across ACLs and services will match the same performance they see in year 10 when ACLs and services have scaled tremendously. It is feature rich with quality day one. We are redefining what it means to offer a 14.4 tera line card with FP5. Delivering up to 36 ports of QSF PDD 800 and nearly 20 tera of aggregation on that same line card, we're not only delivering more capacity, but doing so with capability. 800 gig support day one on all ports without further upgrades unlocks tremendous potential. Our platform and silicon designs have always taken a family approach to provide options that scale up and down. FP5 systems and line cards scale from 2.4 tera to 14.4 tera with several steps in between. Flexible license options complement each of these to ensure that the right power, performance, features and scale for each site with the right economics. With FP5, we are concurrently increasing capacity three times, reducing power by 75% and maintaining the same power envelope compared to FP4. This delivers typical power consumption on the order of 0.1 watts per gig, full featured. At 0.1 watts per gig, FP5 delivers the same order of magnitude power consumption as lean core design systems, as well as merchant silicon. The advantage, however, is that FP5 delivers the same power consumption with none of the compromises while being feature rich with leading capabilities. Those capabilities include proven cooling for 26 watt optics in all cages at temperature with significant margin to spare. Speed and power are indeed key drivers in all next generation network decisions, but this is typically where conversations stop. We, however, believe that capabilities matter. We believe that you should not have to get dumb to go fast. When we talk about silicon capabilities, FP5 delivers on these with a huge number of visible stats counts per packet, Flex E2.0, and intelligent aggregation. FP5 is fully buffered on both ingress and egress with pre-classifiers and pre-buffering. A fully buffered system will always outperform partially buffered systems under all network operating conditions. Service and scale with FP5 remain multidimensional. What this means is to scale ACLs does not come at the cost of IPv6, to scale MPLS does not come at the cost of IPv4, service limits are all independent and scale concurrently. This provides freedom to do network design in an unconstrained way. We put huge focus on backwards compatibility with every design we do, with FP5, it mixes with FP4 in the same chassis at the same time with FP5 and FP4 both running concurrently at full line rate. With FP5, we deliver full features, full functions, full FP4 interoperability and no feature phasing. The FP5 upgrade path also is enabled with no fan upgrades and no power upgrades. Security is part of the DNA for FP5. It's built into our data path from our packet preclassifiers to our control plane. DDoS mitigation via signature based ACLs is equally supported with FP5, except now at FP5 rates. But we're going beyond that, adding line rate encryption with a feature called AnySec. This includes not only support for MacSec, but AnySec enables line rate encryption at layer 2, layer 2.5, and layer 3 in a service oriented way. Every generation of FP Silicon has consistently provided many industry firsts, and we continue to build on that with the release of FP5. 
combining industry-leading low power consumption on top of all FP5 and platform value add, we continue to focus on our no compromise design philosophy. For more information, please visit our FP5 website. Thank you. Master the unexpected with a new Nokia FP5 at the heart of the networks that keep us all going. Nokia.